Farmers no longer have the appearance of silent, brutal laborers who reside in the fields. Vlogging familiarizes society and people can learn about international cultures through vlogs. Compared to the absence of vlogs, there don't seem to be as many cultural shocks or hurdles. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. With the emergence of digital farming, it is now possible to connect farm equipment to software platforms that monitor on farm data. It enables an analysis of the soil and climate conditions in a particular location to give farmers recommendations regarding seed selection and more precise application of pesticides and fertilizers. The growth has abruptly increased the production rate and also made the hard-working sector easy to smart working. Agriculture's reliance on precision technologies is shifting, with significant consequences for discussions about sustainability in the industry. On the theory that they offer greater precision in decision-making and practice, new digital technologies such as wireless communication, data analytics, and data-driven genome editing are rapidly being applied to agriculture in several ways. Southwest-based Mike Mitchell is a 34-year-old insane Canadian. He has a younger brother who recently got married as well as an older brother who is married and has three children. He is engaged to Ashton and all of the brothers are rather close in age, just a few years separate them. Everyone is wondering who Ashton is. His fiancée is the girl smashing, and they intend to wed this summer. They all have an absolute passion for farming and the family farm has been in existence since they still own the homestead in 1910 or 1907, or since his great-grandparents moved over from Scotland. He is merely a crazy Saskatchewan farmer that adores his work and travels the globe. He enjoys the daily challenges of farming and has chosen to give you a glimpse into life on a dynamic farm. You must be wondering how a farmer gained thousands of YouTube subscribers. Farmers are no longer secretive about their work and the bravest of them have launched YouTube channels to immerse us in farm life, as Mike Mitchell does. The man enjoys what he does, so one day he decided to publish a video of a fan and two track pulling apart for fun. After his initial video went popular, he decided to make pros and cons reviews for aspiring farmers and test out new tools and farming concepts. Surprisingly, it received three and a half million views, and his YouTube career took off from there. He has no trouble producing YouTube videos now. His channel contains a wealth of information regarding tractors as well. He discusses evaluations, the advantages and disadvantages of his machines, as well as how to properly care for them to keep them from breaking down or, worse yet, overheating and exploding. Currently, Mitchell's farm and fields total between 40,000 and 45,000 acres. That's a lot of lands. Who wouldn't want to see something so beautiful? If you're curious about what he can do with it, you can check out YouTube channel or, of course, get a look at it from here. On the farm, he has also built several structures for the processing of seeds and storage of grains. Almost no farm exists without fire. Mitchell's farm has sustained some damage, but as he mentioned in one of his videos, this is only one of many fires that have occurred there. In this video, he instructs his viewers on how to put out a farm fire. He started the channel about seven years from now on the 2nd of April 2015. Currently, his channel has a total of 519 videos uploaded with a subscriber count of 186k. According to the sources, Mike makes about 330 $32 a day. It sums up to $2,322 a week, $15,533 a month, and ultimately $204,997 per year just with YouTube ads. If we sum up all his other incomes along with YouTube, he has a net worth of around $479,821. But what's the secret to his success? I guess we can give it to his persona, his active demeanor, light-hearted content, and perspective on farming life with no alterations. It is how people like us in the city are oblivious to farm life which could be stimulating to many. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.